Yeah, it's a great way to look at it. I mean, I can tell you, uh, it can be quite sobering when you meet people at retirement. You see the people who procrastinated in terms of putting money into savings accounts and retirement accounts, and the people who had started 30 or 40 years ago versus started five or 10 years ago. The, the difference with the compound interest is, you know, magnitudes bigger than you would think it would be. It's It's really impressive to see what just a little bit of financial planning, not even anything crazy, just like an IRA or a 401k and a couple small distributions, the difference it can make for you later in life. Because I think what a lot of people don't realize is it doesn't just go into the fun stuff. It can be your quality of life in general. It's what health care plans can I afford? What life insurance plans can I afford? Where can I live? Do I have the option to move even you know, out of the house that I've spent the mortgage on? I think there's so much to it. And if you just look at money as money rather than like a vehicle to do the things you want, not only fun, but to actually live, it becomes a very different conversation. And I think it gives you a little more confidence to actually take this stuff head on as opposed to really, you know, dragging your feet and not worrying about it till it's too late. Yeah, I'm very glad you said that about the healthcare thing too. I, I think people oftentimes make decisions regarding their healthcare um, based off of cost. Um, where that it's, it's a very real thing that influences the health care that you can get. But, you know, things are different when you're in retirement than when you were 30 years old. You're more likely to use that health care significantly, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas at, at 30 years old, you know, unless I fall down the mountain trying to snowboard for the first time in, in six years, like I'm pretty much okay here. Um, but, you know, 65, 70 years old, we're, we're definitely getting up there. We're going to be using this health care to make sure that we're we're getting along the lines and like there are added things that you guys have that that we know that clients love, um, you know, uh, fitness programs and, and things that really get them to their, their their right network of doctors. And how do we actually say if you want a certain level of coverage, how do we make sure that that fits in your bucket? What is the impact that that has on everything else? Do we need more withdrawals? What is safe to spend again? not just overall, but individually on these individual things that we need, which we would consider essentials. Thanks again for tuning in to Talking Retirement on YouTube. Please like and subscribe to keep up with the podcast and check out all the other great educational content we have on the NJ Life and Health YouTube channel. If you'd like to listen to an audio version of the podcast, you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and pretty much all other major podcasting platforms. For daily senior tips and to keep up with us at NJ Life and Health, follow us on all major social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at NJ Life and Health. And of course, if you'd like someone in your corner to help you with Medicare and life insurance, we would love to talk to you. Visit our website at www.njlifeandhealth.com or call our office in Toms River, New Jersey at 848-226-6897. We'd love to set you up with an appointment with one of our Medicare and life insurance brokers. And we are licensed in a lot of other states besides New Jersey. So no matter where you are, there's a chance we can help you out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this podcast and we'll see you in the next episode.